Welcome to our devos this week where we are looking at the subject of being under attack. Yes, I mean under attack by spiritual forces, namely invisible supernatural forces, not necessarily people because the Bible says we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, that our war is not carnal, but it's an actual war that is taking place in the heavenly realms. And today, I want to look at the fact that the devil, the primary attack that he puts on your life is one of deception, deception. And so that deception, you need to know, appeals to your flesh. That deception appeals to your flesh. There's a, um, there's a psychological term that's quite fascinating that you should become familiar with. It's called confirmation bias. If you want to Google it, you can because it really, really sums up a lot of how we think. When we go to vote or when we go to make a decision, confirmation bias is telling us that we are not looking for truth. We are looking for something that confirms what we already believe. So for instance, if you are voting a certain way, you are going to look for different things that fortify the position of what you already believe. Meaning, none of us are really going around looking for the opportunity to be changed or to be contradicted in what we believe. Instead, what we're doing is we spend the majority of our time looking for opportunities to have what we believe in ratified or validated or kind of confirmed, if you will. That's what confirmation bias is all about. Now, what does this have to do with the devil and what does this have to do with deception? Well, quite a bit, frankly, because your flesh has built in desires that are contrary to the living God. And what happens is when the devil introduces an idea of deception through some means of the world or maybe entertainment or maybe culture or maybe somebody that you know that's doing something and you're like, oh, I want to do that. Your flesh goes, yeah, we want to do that. This is what we need to do. And you feed your flesh. John Mark Comer's book, Live No Lies, details this process. He says the devil plants a deception. It's given over to our disorderly desires of the flesh. So we take over that desire. And it becomes ours. It becomes our life. And then the world fortifies that deception. The world tells you that you ought to live this way, that you need this, you deserve this. You ought to believe this way. Everybody else believes this way. Believing just in Jesus alone, I mean, that's old. That's antiquated. I mean, here's what you really ought to believe. The flesh is ready to receive the devil's deception. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't overcome the flesh, but it means that the way that we overcome the flesh has to be through the spiritual realm. Paul talks about this in his letter to the Galatians. He says in Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, he says, I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. In contrast, is you not walking with God, not walking by the Spirit, and then you do gratify those desires. So the only way to really examine these deceptions in the proper light of day, is to walk closely in step with the living God. Walk with the Holy Spirit who is abiding in you and recognize that you are following the voice of Jesus who has called you to live a life where you are walking in step with him. When we don't do this, we give into the flesh. And when we do do this, when we do give into the flesh, we are feeding the deception and we are giving in to the attack.